Hey people out there, okay, so this is my second video, I posted my first one on last Friday, or Saturday, it was Friday, <laughs> so uh, this video will be back to school advice for freshmen, okay, so all you upcoming freshmen out there, just chill, it'll be okay, it's all good, um, so the first thing that I want to say to all the upcoming freshmen out there, is just be yourself. Don't try to be fake or don't try to be like fit in with, I mean, of course, you might want to fit in with the crowd, but don't like overdo it. Don't cheat yourself out of opportunities. Like, don't cheat yourself out of opportunities because I did that a few times last year when I was a freshman. And it really sucks because there were like, there would be these classes I could have taken and there was this one person I really didn't like in that class so I didn't take the class and I think I really would like that class but I didn't take it because I was didn't want to be around that person but anyways so what I'm trying to say is like just be yourself screw what other people think of you because ultimately it's your life and you're going to do stuff and you will go places hopefully you'll go places and who wants to be a McDonald's patty flipper for the rest of their life. I mean, to you people that work at McDonald's, love your food, it's good. <laughs> but, uh, never mind. So, don't change yourself for the benefit of other people, because ultimately you're just screwing yourself and lying to yourself and cheating yourself out of opportunities. Okay. The second thing I want to say to all you upcoming freshmen are, well, is, get involved in your school. Like, I was in chorus, and my teachers would ask me, like, when's your next chorus concert, and this and that, and when was I doing stuff for student council, because I was in student council, too. And, um, yeah, I really liked it. Student council's really fun. Do student council. Uh, so, and I had this one substitute teacher. She, uh, we was doing, the chorus was doing Little Shop of Horrors. It's like a plant, maybe, thing that... I was Seymour, I was the lead male, I guess you would say, but uh, she would always talk to me about the concert and when was it and she was coming and this and that and she was so excited, so she came and it was really fun, I really liked it, but get involved in your school, it will really like make, it will make things easier for you, okay, pay attention, God I cannot express this enough, pay attention, like just pay attention like seriously pay attention okay um the reason I say pay attention so much is because as soon as you start the class like you're a day closer to your finals and you're in most places you only have 18 weeks until your finals is well 18 weeks is one semester so you have your finals at the end of every semester so you really do need to pay attention because every moment you spend wasting on not paying attention in class is a moment that you could potentially miss something really important that the teacher's saying or something that is just you're so, well I would hope you pay attention anyway because like you're supposed to be awesome and all kinds of stuff but uh just don't waste your time not paying attention because like I said, it's your life. If you don't, like, listen and pay attention and get the best out of your education, then you're screwing yourself out of opportunities, and I don't want that for anybody. I think everybody should have amazing opportunities for them, but as long as you earn them. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, <laughs> so, just pay attention, and because your finals, my finals really wasn't all that hard. But I had really good teachers. I loved my teachers last year. I wish I could have them every year. But I can't. Um, but yeah, the finals, well, at my school, at South Caldwell, it's really not that hard. As long as you're, well, the way my teachers taught, it really wasn't that hard. But um, also, pay attention to what you do around your teachers, because your teachers will remember a lot. Like, <laughs> a lot. But... So, your teach oh, and your teachers will also pay attention to you, like, one day I came into school, and I'm usually a happy get-up person, like, I'll make everybody smile, I'm a really nice person once you get to know me, I might be a little bit of a 
smart ass whenever you first meet me, but you'll get used to it. Um, but I came in one day and I was just like, I was just quiet and my teacher was like, Caleb, what's wrong? And I just tell him nothing's wrong. I just don't feel good that day. And they'd be like, there's something wrong. So they would talk to me and basically they, they were some of my support group. And if you have any troubles or anything in school, talk to your counselors. Your counselors are not there to just look good. They are there to help you. And if your counselors don't help you, then just message me or something. I mean, I'll try to help everybody with any problems they want to talk about. Just message me on my Instagram and on Snapchat or something or Facebook. I'll put all those in the description. But, um, yeah. But I hope you all have a good year. And I hope it starts off great. And I hope you have great opportunities that come within the year because high school is nothing to joke with it is serious and they do push you but ultimately in high school you are control you are in control of your education and hopefully you take advantage of that control because that means you will be able to go farther in life but thank you guys for watching again and this is my second video my first one was posted about a week ago about a week ago <laughs> anyways uh, it was posted on last Friday, but, um, thank you guys for watching this. Just like, subscribe, comment, oh, and comment video ideas or comment, like, questions that you want to ask me. I'll try to do a video every week, like, I'll post them on Fridays, uh, yeah, I'll post them on Fridays, and, yeah, so, that's all there really is for this video, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.